2022 can be very daunting to get into, especially this late into the game cycle here in March. That's why in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to start off in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, and as well as how you can build a team good enough to compete this late on in the game. Because we know it's no fun when your bronze team is going up against these god squad teams. So right off the bat, of course, if you're literally starting on FIFA 22 on this very day, go ahead and go through all the FIFA tutorials and stuff like that, open the packs that EA may give you, and just go ahead and complete all the basic tutorials in the game. Now usually what most players will do is go ahead and sell everything that they have. Now I don't want you guys to actually do it in this case just yet. The first thing you guys are going to do once you get everything done from the tutorials is go ahead to the homepage and then go to the squad building challenges or SBCs as most people call them. And then you're going to go scroll over here to the foundations and you're going to go ahead and complete the let's get started, uh, let's keep going, let's move forward and all these basic SBCs. EA basically gives you the players to complete these so you guys can actually you know get through a good amount of these very easily you can even go ahead and buy some of these players on the market for very very cheap but in return these packs and, and rewards will at least give you a little bit of a good starting platform now once you complete all of the basics and stuff like that you don't have to go ahead and complete league and nation basics however if you do want to and you can i do recommend that you do so because the pack rewards are rather decent but once you have that, you should have a good amount of players. Now, any of the silver or bronzes, I would recommend that you guys go ahead and sell them on the transfer market. Now, with your gold cards, I want you guys to at least have 11 players, and I'll get back to why in just a moment. Of course, keep a few players so you can have a bench and so you can actually play some of the games. But we're going to come back to that in just a second. Because once you guys have done all of that and you have at least 16 players, a team that is good enough, don't worry about chemistry or rating or anything like that, we can go ahead and start making coins very fast. Now luckily with this FIFA, a lot of cards are very cheap and you can build a really good team for a really low amount of coins. And when you are just starting out, there are two things that I recommend that you guys do at the exact same time. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the homepage and then go to the store. And you're going to be doing a method, a uh, kind of a basic trading method that really anybody can do. It's super cheap, really easy to do. And that is the bronze pack method. It's very self-explanatory. What you guys go ahead and do is open up these bronze packs. Now, it may sound like a completely stupid idea to go ahead and do. But it's not, and that's because these bronze cards are actually more not worth more than the pack actually costs. And in return, you guys can build coins. Now, this isn't a, you know, get rich super quick kind of method, but it's something you can do really easily to build your coins up rather fast. And I recommend doing this until you have about 100k coins. You guys can, of course, do this for as long as you want. And there are people out there who only do the bronze pack method and have millions of coins. Now, of course, that takes time. But again, what you do for the bronze pack method is you go ahead and open these packs and you go and look at the players. So we see that for this guy, his lowest card on the market is currently 450 coins. Now we can probably sell him for about 300 coins. And we would just go ahead and check everything in the pack that might sell. Now this guy also could sell for about 300 coins because he is a rare bronze. And just like that, we already have made coins from this pack. Because this guy, even if he doesn't sell, which looks like we could sell him off for 200 coins, the discard value will be more. And even this guy looks like he could sell as well on the Xbox version. So now what we can do is go ahead and check the kit, see if it sells. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it does. And then we can go ahead and sell everything or keep it, it's up to you really. And then just go ahead and repeatedly do it. Now sometimes these packs won't be profitable and you'll open a pack that is kind of a dud. It's not really worth anything and that's unfortunate, but it does happen. But then there are times where you will get really good packs where cards can be worth a lot of coins. For example here, this Leicester City player that I packed, he actually sells for about 2k. And a lot of Premier League cards do the same and a lot of the top 5 leagues sell for a really good amount of coins and there's a ton of bronze cards that can actually sell for this amount and while these packs only cost 750 coins to open you guys can get some pretty easy returns and all in all you know you can make a really good amount of coins now you guys won't be able to open unlimited bronze packs because you guys are not balling on 
a huge budget like I currently am, you guys will likely have about 15 to 20k after the tutorial and stuff like that. So while you guys are waiting for your bronze cards to sell, you can actually go to the play tab and play squad battles. And what you're going to do is go ahead and play against these easy teams. And that's why I said chemistry doesn't really matter because you guys should be able to beat these teams anyways. You guys can go ahead and rank up in squad battles, not to mention just from starting off on ultimate team, you'll likely get a big coin boost, which means for about 10 matches or so, you probably either have either 500 extra coins or a thousand extra coins. So you'll be able to build some extra coins that way. Way. and then you guys can rank up and then hopefully get some pretty good rewards to open when squad rewards come out on every Sunday. Now I get it, the bronze pack method may not be for everybody because it can get quite boring. So I'm going to show you guys two more methods you can do once you get a good amount of coins, say around, you know, 100k or so. And that's the sniping method for number one. Sniping is very easy to do in FIFA. All you're going to do is basically find a car that might be a little inflated up. So for example, this Acerbi card, he actually currently sells for about 2k, which is a very good price for him. Now that we know that he is that much and a lot of 83s tend to sell for a little bit less we can set our max buy now price for say 1900 coins we move this max price up to 15 million and we can go ahead and press y or triangle depending on what console you are on and just keep moving it down one pressing y and we'll do this until we see one that pops up and as you get more comfortable you'll be able to go much faster and what you'll do when you do see one pop up is you'll go ahead and buy him so for example here we see this one for 1700 we go ahead and buy him and get him at that 1700 so we can go to assign now what we'll do is go ahead and list him at about 2.2k knowing that he'll instantly sell and right there we make about 400 coins after the ea tax is taken out and you guys can literally just do this on any cards that are inflated super easy to do and you guys can make coins that way too now some people don't get the hang of sniping and it might be a little bit hard to win some of the deals or it might just you might just be a little bit impatient so what you can also do is mass bidding and this is super self-explanatory too you go ahead and set a max price for say 2k we know this card sells for about 2.3k so we can go ahead and bid on all of these cards now the max you can bid on is 30 cards at a time, but let's just say we do that, we put a huge amount of bids on these cards, and then we win only 10 of them. But we know that that card could probably sell for about, you know, 300 coins profit per card, you know, times 10, that's 3k, uh, just for doing about 30 seconds of bidding, maybe 60 seconds, but who's counting? And just like that, you guys can make a ton of coins on the game. As I said, you guys can do these methods until you hit about 300k. That's where you guys can really start to build a really good team. However, I do recommend not spending just all your coins on a team and starting from scratch because once you start building your coins up more, you can start heading into the more advanced trading methods where you can trade gold fodder for good profits and all that good stuff which by the way is on my channel and YouTube is recommending a video right now for you guys up here that I also think you should watch as it'll probably help you guys get into the more advanced methods and stuff like that. So just subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.